Chairman Sonsa Ispandon, Your Majesty, Excellencies, my delegation wish to express our appreciation to you, Prime Minister, and the government of Lao PDR for the generous hospitality and excellent arrangements for these summits. I warmly welcome our neighbours, Malaysian neighbours, our new colleagues, Prime Minister Lawrence Wong of Singapore and Prime Minister Petong Tan Chinaut of Thailand to the ASEAN family. I wish to convey Malaysia's deepest sympathies to Lao, PDR, Myanmar, Philippines, Thailand and Vietnam for the recent devastation caused by Typhoon Yagi. Malaysia stands ready to render support with the recovery efforts. Your Majesty Excellencies, in 2025, as ASEAN celebrates the 10th anniversary of the ASEAN community, it is our conviction that ASEAN will be in a stronger position to face challenges and embrace opportunities. We look forward to the adoption of the ASEAN Community Vision 2045 and its strategic plans at the 46th ASEAN Summit. While the ASEAN region is experiencing phenomenal economic growth, Nevertheless, intra-ASEAN trade remains low for the past few decades. I believe there is vast potential for enhancement in this regard, particularly with the upgrading of the ASEAN Trade and Goods Agreement to be signed in 2025. To drive ASEAN strategic engagement in growing trade, investment linkages and digital transformation are proposed the following. Strengthen our fundamentals, bolster regional value chains and regulatory cooperation, reinvent, restructure and recalibrate our economies and leverage on each other's strength, redraw and secure regional supply chain and its linkages with the global economy. Your Majesty, Excellencies, as we strengthen the region internally, it is also imperative that we explore and broaden our economic partnership beyond our borders. Malaysia's proposal for the ASEAN GCC plus China Summit in 2025 is aimed at achieving exactly this. I would like to thank ASEAN member states for your support of this proposal. We cannot overstress the importance of dialogue and cooperation forming the fundamentals of amity and good relations. Therefore, we encourage our dialogue partners to manage their differences in order to obtain positive outcomes. In this way, ASEAN must be unflinching and resolute in sending a clear message to the world that ASEAN is and must remain united and will continue to be the key driver of peace, security and cooperation in this region. Thank you.